Hi guys, welcome to Systematic Chess Club and you are learning chess basics overloaded pieces the pieces which are overloaded you can uh, take advantage of that situation and this is very fundamental and this is useful for those who are trying to improve in chess and they are struggling at their uh, ratings around uh, 500 to 1000 yellow at chess.com or leeches.org this video is going to help you learn the idea and the concept that how you can exploit uh, overloaded pieces and we will be doing right now as you see in the board that uh, nine problems uh, the examples which are overloaded and uh, they, these problems will help you grasp the concept of overloaded pieces so how do you define a overloaded piece a piece is overloaded also known as overworked if it has uh, more than one responsibility example defending a piece defending a square uh, blocking a check and blockading a piece for example in this example that you are watching on the board the f7 pawn if you watch it closely the f7 pawn has at least two responsibilities it is protecting the bishop on e6 right and it is also protecting the knight on g6 so can you exploit the double responsibility uh, you have also some two pieces uh, this is higher value piece if you capture this if the pin captures you capture this knight but out of the two you should be preferably taking the knight first why so that when the pawn captures it you capture the bishop and you win so in chess or you also it is important that you should be keeping an eye on the which value is of higher piece and that you should be doing so overloaded uh, this example you first what you do you capture the knight and as he moves away he cannot capture it and that is a successful uh, attack by you if he captures it in that case you are going to uh, win this position so this puzzle is solved now let us go to the overloaded part two so in this example what do you think what is f6 knight is doing uh, f6 knight has two responsibilities what are those two responsibilities that you must be knowing and that is how it is guarding this checkmate position uh, is more important than the other can you exploit the situation so it is guarding uh, the this square also so either it can come here or it can capture this pawn and uh, suppose if you go here so he has to come here and now what can you do what is the idea over here how can you exploit this idea how can you exploit this idea so now you have a uh, attacker here and you just capture with a queen if he captures you have a queen and uh, if you see this knight uh, since it was defending the checkmate it could not go back now you have a queen you have won a rook now if you capture this you will lose your queen so what is the best thing is to come here and then the game will go on so this is the way how you should be uh, using your uh, game and it goes like that now you can attack and win this pieces let us uh, go to the third overloaded idea uh, in this example uh, you have to get a winning position in four moves and how can you do that how can you actually do that how can you get a winning position in just four moves so in this you have to find out which piece is overloaded so when someone is explaining it is very easy to see that the piece is overloaded but in this situation can you see the overload piece so let us start with this bishop uh, bishop is it overloaded but it is doing quite a great job uh, it is defending this pawn defending this two diagonal but it's slightly inactive because the pawns are not white now if we see the h7 pawn so what is h7 pawn doing it has two responsibilities can you exploit the situation what is what are the two uh, responsibilities that uh, this s7 pawn has uh, is it defending this pawn 
and also it is blockading this uh, s6 pawn so how can you exploit this situation so if you sacrifice your bishop he cannot capture it why why he cannot capture it he cannot capture it because if you if he captures you are going to get this pass pawn if he captures you are going to promote this pawn so this is slightly a uh, difficult situation uh, to understand that why are you can you find this when playing that this s7 pawn is defending this and it is blockading this pawn your ultimate goal to win is that you should come here there is no defender of this dark dark squares so you can do this move this is very important that you should realize it and what will happen if he captures it if he captures it uh, what will happen so if he captures it uh, we need to understand that uh, uh he, if he has if you capture and then if he captures then there is nobody is going to prevent this uh, movement so uh, this is the way how you can uh, understand these ideas i hope it is getting interesting and are getting uh, the difficulty level is increasing let us go to the first problem of overloaded piece and hope it's not getting bored and you can drop down your um, observations and uh, let me know that how can i improve i am a very small youtube channel and if you have subscribed it thank you so much and if you have not subscribed it subscribe it as soon as possible so now we are going to see the overloaded piece uh, fourth problem and you have to get a winning position but now in this position how can you find uh, that which piece is overloaded so this is uh, an example from uh, jos uh, rol blanca and rudolf spilman 1911 and in this game which piece you see is overloaded how can you find that so we have to evaluate the position and uh, now the difficulty level is increasing uh, let us think uh, what is this rook doing what is this king doing actually uh, this king is uh, we have to see what is this bishop doing so what can be done in this situation so this queen is seems to be overloaded as it is defending the bishop as well as defending the back rank mate let us check if it is right or not so this is a good move you just uh, he has captured it still he cannot capture that rook why he cannot capture that rook because it was overloaded now what to be done and how can you find it suppose you go here check and now you win the queen he gives for a check and he now goes back so these are the positions that is playable let us go into the overloaded piece analysis part what is happening here is that uh, i think we should uh, reload it and then we should go to the analysis part so now uh, if you capture this he could not capture it because it was a back rank mate undefendable he has to come he went for a check to capture it and then he defended it so now you captured it now he captures it and then you go for a check he comes here then you, there is no way you capture it back so you are up two pieces so these are the ideas that are very important and uh, this way you can improve uh, let us go to the next problem uh, here uh, this was played between sakri armamurdev and peter spiller 2009 and now which is the overload piece here how to find that I think the queen is under attack but it is defending he can capture the next move uh, this is here and we have a piece over here so i think uh, this rook 
you if you capture this uh, he captures it and now you capture it back and he comes there and then you again capture it so uh, what was the problem of the king it was defending the rook and it was defending the pawn and which was which means that it was overloaded and that's why you did it so this is the way it goes and let us go for the next problem uh, this is a game from Gary Kasparo and we have to get a winning position in four moves how can we do that so we have to find this we have to do it but how to find which piece is overloaded this rook seems to be defending this pawn and uh, anything specific no so how can you see that what is going to be a good move here so what if you capture it he captures he captures then you go for a check he comes there you go for a check he comes up so is it winning for you is it not winning for you not very clear and then you win that rook so you have given your queen for two rooks that won't be a great suggestion but let us see what uh, computer suggests uh, for that we have to go to the problem again and then we have to see that so here the computer suggests that you capture this rook he captures it you go for a check he comes here then you go for a check he defends it you capture it he goes back you could have captured but now you are just preventing he captures it you capture he captures and then you capture this so uh, it's a detailed calculation and understanding these ideas um, are uh, quite difficult let us go to the next problem overloaded piece problem number seven uh, this is a game between boris spasky and ben larson uh, you can watch this game over here in the practice uh, session of the leeches.org so here what do you think who is the overloaded piece is it easy to find out um, so this pawn is defended this rook is attacking this pawn what can you do in this situation so this pawn is defending this too you can divert it if you capture he captures and then you push you may come here but then you promote surely you are going to probably get uh, let's promote it to queen he has to capture it and now you are pissed now uh, to understand this entire problem let us go to the analysis part what is the best computer session you just suggest because this pawn is overloaded it suggests to capture it and then promote it and then he captures it and clearly this is winning for you that's nice uh, now let us go to the next problem that is problem overloaded eight so how to find uh, this is from yuri shulman uh, log van valley 2009 and how do you find the overloaded piece not an easy task yes of course it's not easy while playing the game to actually look for what is overloaded and what is not overloaded but i personally feel that your you are under a very tight situation but if you capture he captures can you do anything wonderful uh, can you so you have to find what is overloaded in this situation and this is a very strong bishop is okay fine but if you capture it he captures it any benefit no he comes here if you go for a check he can come here he can come here he has both ways mm how -hmm. oh, to find the situation uh, so the bishop you capture he captures it now this uh, is undefended plus it will be threatening checkmate 
he has to go back because you were threatening checkmate from this square and that pawn was safeguarding this and as well as safeguarding the pawn so you just sacrificed your rook to get advantage of that and uh, now what to do so you can maybe, maybe you get this we are living in position now let us go to the analysis part the computer is suggesting so here this is uh, you are under a very difficult situation and uh, met is on the way but you need to put your knight over here this pawn is defending uh, this square as well as this square so you go there no you don't go there so computer suggests that you sacrifice your rook he captures you threaten the checkmate to prevent that back rank uh, he comes here and you win the bishop and the other bishop and you are two up pieces with a rook against two rooks clearly this is winning let us go to the final problem of today now uh, we have two more problems this is the ninth problem and we have to get a winning position in the victor krishnoi irina cross match 2007 and how to find what is overloaded this is a very nice hitting pattern that we have created all you need to put it in the threat but what is this knight seems to be overloaded it is defending this bishop as well as defending that square you capture it i think it's a wrong move let's resume the practice oh uh, no let's go back to the problem so i think he wants us to capture this take you capture it back and you capture no you cannot capture it back you get the win. he captures it you capture it and now the queen goes what is the idea here the idea is that uh, this bishop uh, this knight is preventing a back rank so he cannot capture by the bishop as far as the rook is here if he captures it uh, let us see that he suppose in this position let us go to the analysis board that he captures it then you capture it and he blocks it it's a checkmate so he cannot capture it that is the idea that is the idea that's why you risked your uh, pin so now that is our final problem that overloaded pieces 10 and hope these videos are helping you and uh, you can like and subscribe and share and this is the final problem that we are going to do on the overloaded pieces so which piece is overloaded right now we have to find it uh, this rook seems to be protecting this rook seems to be protecting uh, this bishop is protecting this as well as this uh, what can be done here what can be done here it's not that easy it seems that uh, so it wants to go as a check then this king is protecting this square as well as this square for a check he goes there now what do you do maybe you have lost so many pieces you have to be safe it's not a check net comes here check and it goes like that check so many uh, rates it goes like that so let us go back to the problem and see what computer is suggesting so computer is suggesting the best move is to put the sacrifice your rook it captures and now you invade into it goes there you promote he takes, you take, he comes back, you take that rook. Why he cannot go there? Because it's a check. He goes there, 
he captures a knight so in either way you are winning either the rook he captures it then you capture it and i think uh, queen against two pieces is sufficient so thank you for watching hope this is enjoyable and learning for you till then bye bye take care